All right, let's break this uh, defrost cycle down step by step. Uh, there's some differences here in the way the uh, defrost works in refrigeration. You know, in air conditioning, we're used to having um, our power controlled by opening or closing of contacts and switches. When we are looking at defrost, not only do we open and close switches to apply and disable power, we also have some controls that make or break uh, the neutral to some loads. So there's a there's some, a few different things to remember. Now, one thing before we start, this is our defrost termination and fan delay. And this is a schematic diagram here. And this designates a device that opens on temperature rise, which means it will close on temperature fall. So whenever you see this device, if the temperature increases, it pushes it up in this direction and um, will move this contact back and forth depending on the temperature. OK, so we're going to break this down uh, through every one of the loads and everything that's uh, connected to the defrost clock even if they're not operating in the freeze cycle, but we're going to follow the paths to see what happens. And we're going to do it from the 115 volt input back to the neutral. So at all times we have 115 volts up to the clock motor and back to the neutral so the clock motor is just ticking away. So let's start, let's start out here. So the clock motor always has power. So we have uh, 115 volts comes in on terminal 1 we followed up in this direction. This is an open terminal, so it dead ends here. We go through the bus bar to terminal two. This connection is closed and it comes out terminal four to our EVAP fan. Now we're on the, the neutral side of the EVAP fan, so we do have uh, 115 volts coming to the fan. Let's follow this uh, neutral back, see if we have a complete circuit through the defrost termination fan delay back to neutral. We have a complete circuit. The fan is operating. So this same 115 volts comes out terminal 4. It also goes to the thermostat. Since we're in the freeze cycle, we know the thermostat contacts are made. That power passes through the thermostat to the solenoid valve. The solenoid valve is opened. The compressor is on and we have our neutral coming back. So we have another load here, a couple more loads, uh, which is the defrost solenoid and our defrost heaters. So let's take a look at the defrost solenoid first. So the defrost solenoid is connected to terminal three. It has, this terminal is not made, so we don't have 115 volts. And also the defrost terminal is connected, defrost solenoid is connected to terminal X, which is the neutral, and there is no neutral. So at this time, there there's no power whatsoever, ne neither neutral or 115 volts going to the defrost solenoid. It is just sitting there waiting for something to happen. The last load we're going to look at is the defrost heaters. They are always connected to neutral. And if we follow the neutral up in this direction, see, let's see where we are with, uh, with our power, 115 volts. Comes to terminal three, comes back down here to terminal three, and terminal three is not made, so it's the defrost heaters are off. So in the freeze cycle, we have the solenoid valve open and powered up. We have the EVAP fan powered up the defrost heaters are off. The defrost solenoid has no power, so it is sitting there idly. And we now have a, a free cycle happening, and we're waiting for the uh, defrost clock to, to tell things to hit the defrost mode.